Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aditya and today we will be discussing about Sao Paulo crime analysis. I am sorry if my pronunciation is wrong. So let's get started. So this is my Kaggle notebook in which I have coded this project. I have this geospatial Sao Paulo crime database and in it the CSV file name is dataset limpo.csv and I have this output Kaggle working. I have set the language as Python and accelerator as GPU. Now what the first cell does is it imports all the required libraries such as numpy, pandas etc and then if we run this we get the file name of the input so here in this the geospatial sao paulo crime database contains dataset limpo.csv file so this is the file which it contains so this is shown by this complete code and this code is pre-written by Kaggle the first cell of the Kaggle notebook is pre-written you don't have to do anything and in order to read the CSV file you just have to copy this address and paste it here and I'll name my data frame as df which is equals to pd dot read underscore csv and i have just pasted this complete path of my csv file so and then i want to see a glimpse of my database how it looks like how many rows it contains so this is how my data frame looks like it has id uh, ip address origin latitude longitude and all such things time also now moving forward actually we just need latitude and longitude since we are analyzing this data frame on geospatial data only so we only need latitude and longitude column so here we will change or manipulate our data frame and will create a new data frame called data which is equals to df.iloc and we need all the rows basically so we are using this colon and then we then we need the column number 7 and 8 so we are using this 7 colon 9 and then dot reset underscore index which will create our series into a data frame and then we'll see how it looks like so we'll say data dot head so it contains an unused column which is index so what we'll do is we'll pop it afterwards but first let us see uh, how many non-null values or null values the data has so it says it has no it has all false which is it has no null values and its value is equal to 12,899 which means the complete data has no null values so we don't need to drop any of the rows next we'll group by our data on the basis of latitude and longitude and then we will uh, create it on the basis of index and we will count all the indexes and then we'll use reset underscore index to uh, change our series into a data frame again and we'll name our new data frame as crime and now i want to see how my crime data frame looks like so this is how it looks like uh, this particular latitude and longitude has this number of crimes uh, you can see all the 11,836 rows here. And then what we are doing is we are importing heat map from polium dot plugins. 
like i have created a lot of videos on folium and you can also check out them and then we are importing folium so this is basically a very interesting library where you are able to analyze the data very 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 beautifully this gives uh, data uh, especially geospatial data you can analyze using folium it would give you very good results and then what we are doing is we are creating a base map which is basically a simple world map from folium dot map and then we are basically uh, adding the heat map of crime to our base map and then we are printing our base map this is how it looks like so this is uh, sao paulo city again uh, i'm sorry if my pronunciation is wrong and brasilia which is the capital of brazil and this is rio de janeiro since this data frame contains mostly the crime occurring in sao paulo city so it has the uh, most uh, darkest zone in sao paulo city only it has a yellowish tone in rio de janeiro and some cases in brasilia too uh, if we zoom it out a bit we'll see this is brazil and this is sao paulo city i don't know what is this place so i'll zoom it out again so here also it has reported i think this is the uh, i think this is a wrong entity in the data frame so leave it uh, again if we zoom in here want to see which places in the city had the most number of crimes so this is sao jose dos campos this uh, separates itself this is campinas and if we zoom it a bit uh, this i guess this is the center of sao paulo city cambush cambush juventus muka consolaso and i'm sorry again if my pronunciation is wrong so this is how you can analyze uh, analyze your data frame according to folium basically all the geospatial data can be analyzed beautifully using folium a very good a uh, very advanced library so this is how we do this sao paulo crime analysis thank you for watching